in this session, uh, we are going to improve our image so that it fits on the canvas. Now you will have noticed in the last session, in the last tutorial, that our canvas size was much larger than our image sizes. So let's see if we can fix that up. You need to go to your finder, select the applications menu, go to Adobe Photoshop CS5 and load Adobe Photoshop CS5. Close the applications directory and window. And what you need to do is make sure your mini bridge is open so you can navigate to your file, whether it be a PSD or .gif image, it uh, doesn't matter, just load it to Photoshop. Now once the image is loaded you can see that the you can see that the image is far smaller than the canvas. So what we need to do is go to the analysis menu and you can see here the ruler tool. Now you need to select the ruler tool and when you do you'll notice that it's ticked. You'll also notice that the ruler tool appears in the toolbar. Now you can click on the ruler tool in the toolbar and it's part of the eyedropper tool, the color sampler tool, the note tool and the count tool. So you can also select it from uh, the toolbar if you need to instead of going into the analysis menu. Now once we've selected the ruler tool what we can do is move the ruler tool to the top left hand corner of the image, click and hold the mouse button down and drag the line to the bottom of the image. Release the mouse button and you'll see that the height of the image is 367.97 pixels. Then take our ruler tool and drag it across to the other side of the image to find its width. And as you can see, the width is 246 pixels. Okay, so now that we know the height and width of our image in pixels, what we can do go to the image menu, select canvas size and then make sure that the width and height is in pixels not centimeters. And we can then change the width which is 270 and the height which was 370. Let's double check that to make sure we're right. Okay, so we have pixels here width and height and what we then want to do is change and make sure the relative box is not selected. Click OK. 
this window will appear saying the new canvas size is smaller than the current canvas size. Some clipping will occur and what you can do is just simply click proceed and you'll see that our canvas size has been reduced although we still have a small gap remaining. If that's the case then we can re-examine our canvas size using the ruler tool and you can see here we have a width of about 10 pixels that still needs to be edited. So what we'll do is we'll go back to the image canvas size and reduce the width by another 10 pixels. So we'll make that 260 pixels and 370 pixels in height. Click OK again. Again, uh, the new canvas size is smaller than the current canvas size. Some clipping will occur. We're happy with that. We'll proceed. And there you go. And we probably need to cut it a little bit more, so let's try that again. Change that to 250. Okay. okay. And there we go, we're just about right. We'll probably cut it off a little bit to make sure the edges don't appear. And there we have it. Our image canvas, our, sorry, our image and our canvas is the right size. Although if we look at our other images, you'll see that um, they're still not perfect. So what we can do is then look at changing the canvas for these images as well. Okay, see if you can fix up your image canvas. And the next part of the tutorial will focus on fixing the remaining image canvas sizes.